<sighs> oh man. Oh god, I slept like crap. Oh man, my shoulder hurts. Oh, oh I gotta get a bed. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, at least I got a nice place to stay here. Let's see what we got for our uh, tasks today. Yeah. All right, we're not out of the woods yet. We got to get a lot of things done here. Oh, morning. Oh, okay. Oh, and yeah, I, I received some messages um, on my... I guess other people from other planets can text me. And one of the messages was that the seed Lerma in the pod can it's we're gonna put that in the veggie tube. And you know, I like I said, I didn't spend too much time paying attention in uh Planet Crafter school. And yeah, that the veggie tube is for oxygen. Ooh. I think this oh, this is a new one. Let's take a, oh, okay. Well, well, we'll put, yeah, we'll take that. Heck yeah, blue case. And I, I received another text messages. Uh, I guess I'm getting these text messages from other planets. They're very limited and, uh, uh, you know, kind of cryptic sometimes. But someone said that this seems to be a lot easier than pie. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about pie I don't know they're I guess they're eating pie <clears throat> pie anodons <laughs> so uh, thank you for those text messages fellow survivors and there it is the seed lerma and I think what we'll do we'll pop the iron in there and grab the seed lerma so thank you for those yeah text messages those are very helpful uh, keep them coming you know, because uh, I'm going to need all the help I can get on this planet. Okay. Now, we have... Uh, well, this should... The seed lerma... Now, the veggie tube is for oxygen. And we find these seeds throughout the planet, from what I remember from my Planet Crafter school. And the veggie tubes are oxygen. And then the heater... You know, obviously we have to build the heater and we'll get the heat going. And each one of those indexes will allow us to unlock new technology that will help us speed up the terraforming process. And then we won't be looking at this nasty red planet. I, you know, although it's nice and pretty, but, you know, it'll give a, we'll get some life going here. All right, let's go over here and open the veggie tube and insert the seed lerma. And we have now 0.15 parts per quintillion per second on oxygen and there we go now we are terraforming except for heat now oh one of the things that we need to do is the uh oh we don't have storage oh there we do we do have storage and the problem with this storage is it's gonna oh we unlocked oxygen tank t2 oh nice Okay, let's put iron in here. And, oh wait, we need, well, let's make two more of these. Now, oh, if I press in cold control, you can, uh, it keeps the item in your, locked in there. There we go. So, yeah, you don't have to go, keep going in, in, and that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and put the excess food in there. Oh, I'm going to need an oxygen just in case looking and ah we'll just put all this extra stuff in here and i think we'll put the extra food here let's get uh yeah i'm gonna get an oxygen here so let's go ahead and craft a couple oxygen tubes we need to make one of those crafters i think i got i got some water at home base here or the pod so i'm going to collect oh over here we did have, uh, oh, oh, we need that cobalt, yeah. And over here, there's the one of the blue cases that we have. So I'll, I know that there's another thing we can do here, and that is grab the contents, and then we decon the case to get iron, a little piece of iron out of that, and that's going to help us out 
a little bit there for building and whatnot. And also, we know that that case is gone and been looted. Ooh, look, we got another one over here. Where's that pot at? Here it is. Okay, so we got to remember that case is there. There are also, from what I understand, golden cases and a lot of them. Oh, interesting. Okay. And here is a water. We might as well drink that. And we'll eat a food. There we go. And I, I don't like... I. I want to utilize this bar as much as possible. If we overeat, then we're wasting food, and that's kind of crucial in the beginning. Let's grab this stuff here. Oh, um, better yet, let's... Well, we want the food, and we can... Iron is pretty uh, good, and let's go ahead. Oh, and if you hit Control in the crafting menu here, bam, we can keep clicking. And that's a, a really nice feature that uh, Sentinel Corp put in there. I don't think we have any new messages here, no. Okay. And we have a little bit of inventory space. So let's go over here and we'll check this case out. There it is. Found it. Okay. Ooh, a blueprint. Excellent. And we'll take the food. And cobalt is pretty important. We'll take an iron. We'll have to remember that's there. All right, I'm gonna head back to the pod and we'll get sorted out. Oh boy, We're cutting it close. Yes, we made it. Okay. Oh, and yes, you can label the cases that I do know as well, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Let's sort that. And we'll put the cobalt in there. Yeah, we'll just chuck everything in here. And I'll bring food, water, oxygen. And now we have a blueprint microchip. So we go into our blueprint. And we have a decode blueprint microchip here. Click that. And now we have a mining speed T1. Unfortunately, our body can we can only have four slots so we'll have to have this if we want this chip we, we're gonna have to swap it in and out but it's kind of a tedious task we're not gonna do that now we can make oh uh, can we make yes okay craft station t2 iron and silicon let's go ahead i like calling it silicon so it's fun and there we go and we'll put it i think over here yeah, let's put it up and out of the way. And that way, now we can craft what we what we could craft. Oh, I, I don't think we could do the oxygen T2 tank, which is here, without this station T2. The, the one at the pod are, that we came in on is not as sufficient. So here we go. All right, we need two magnesium, titanium, silicon, and cobalt, plus the tank. And we have a titanium, we have a uh, magnesium, and I have forgotten already what we need. A magnesium and a cobalt. Okay, I don't think we have a magnesium. We do have a cobalt. Oh, here we go. We got it. I think we have everything. Glad I picked all that up. And there it is. So what we have to do is take off our oxygen tank temporarily. And now we have a T2 tank. And notice down here, it's a 100. And then we'll click that in, and now we have 200. We doubled our oxygen capacity. That was a good uh, win. That was a win right there. All right. Uh, do we have anything extra? No. Okay. One of the things I got to remember to do, and uh, while I'm exp in explore mode here, is that we have to, or I have to, Remember to collect the materials for the habitat and the door. I need two iron, three iron pieces, it seems. So here's an iron right there. Oh, I didn't get it. And that way, when I get to the location, we can get set up and not have to run around for all those extra things. So we need an iron and a titanium now. So I'm just going to build this really quick here. And then we're going to go and find some Uridium. All right, I'm going to collect this stuff here. And a Titanium, there we go. We got it all. Excellent. 
Now, eventually we'll get miners and, you know, we'll have a little easier time with this. We're headed over there, which is the, I don't know if it's called Sand Waterfall Cave or something. And that's our base right there. So we'll go ahead and make sure. Yep. We'll get our oxygen here. Bam. And then now we can decon that. And I will meet you over in the cave. Whoa. Check this out, huh? This is what we call the Iridium Cave. And I am looking for iron. I was kind of not looking for it. Now I need to look for iron because I want to build a uh, structure here. Okay, this looks like a good spot. Well, let's go up here. Uh, I think that, yeah, right in the entrance so we could, well, we can go down here, I guess. Yeah, let's go here and we'll just slap a habitat thing down and a door. And now we have the ability to get oxygen in this in this area here. And we also have a jump point now. Okay. Now, Iridium is in this cave. I know because I scanned the area. Aha. I scanned the area as I was uh, approaching in my pod. And there it is. Iridium. We now have Iridium. Iridium and Aluminium. Ooh, we'll take that. But we don't need it right now. But we'll grab one. There's some more Iridium. And Aluminium. We'll, we'll grab this now. Iron. There we go. And iron. We'll grab the uh, aluminium now because we're going to need it for the higher level stuff. Okay. And there's more iridium. Now the we're going to have to plop more power down as we expand our base. And the heaters are going to create quite a bit of power draw. Not worried about it. It's just a part of the, part of the, the gig, you know. Let's go get some oxygen here. Okay, now let's get our uh, foundation grid out. And I'd like to just place it, you know, right over here. This would be kind of cool, I guess. We'll put this uh, grid here. I forgot to hit control. And, oh, interesting. It's, oh, there's a piece of ore there. So let's go on this side here. And then uh, we'll go here. Do I have any more? No, I do not. Okay. And let's see what we need for our first heater. Iron and silicon. All right. Let's go find it. Ooh, backpack T2. There we go. We're unlocking some good stuff now. All right. I'm still trying to find the silicon. Uh... And well, I tell you, it's hard to find in this cave. Here we go. I think this is it right here. Oh, that's iron. Oh, my gosh. All right, I'm going to keep looking for silicon. But, yeah, we got, we unlocked now the backpack T2. And that is huge. So we can carry more things. All right. Now we have the necessary materials for our heater. And we might as well grab another. Oh, inventory's full. Okay, we got to note that silicon is right there. That's an iron, I think. All right, let's get a... Ooh, ooh, what's this? Oxygen. Okay. Yep, get out of there. We got... Ah! Run! Glad it told me. Whoo! And we need water, so let's go ahead and drink that up. All right. And now... Let's see. We have the capability of putting our first heater in. Look how cute it is. Oh, it won't fit on here? Okay, that's fine. Um, let's just go ahead. The The bigger heaters will fit on those platforms, but we can't do it now, I guess. Power is global in the game, and I love that. There we go. We got a heater. Power is global in the game, and I really enjoy that a lot. That sounds like a meteor shower. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we could put another one down, because heat is tough to come by. And we have silicon right over here. Yeah, that is a meteor shower. I don't really worry about those too much right now. They could have some rare resources, but uh, I have ways to get those. There we go. 
We still have enough power. And all we need is one more silicon. I'll go find that. We'll see if we can install a heater. Oh, look at this. Right here. Right in front of my nose. Let's go ahead and put another heater in while we're here. And... Bam. Yep. Low power. Okay. Now what we could do temporarily is find a piece of iron and then put down... Well, I got an idea. I'm going to run back to base. I'll find a piece of iron. It's right here. Did I get it? Nope. Yeah, there we go. Slow mining speed. All right, I'm going to run back to our little pod and we'll put a another power down and that should get all those heaters up and running. Woo! Right now we don't have any TI being created here. So let's go ahead and get back and square our power away. Okay, here we are. Oh my gosh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Get in the pod and get some oxygen. There we go, cool. All right, now. I think what we'll do, we'll expand our platform a little bit so that we can uh, put more power down here. And then we'll get a wind turbine. Let's see how close we can get to this one here. All right, there we go. And we're back online. Power restored. And we might as well put another one in. There we go. Okay, maybe... Yeah, let's try and get some more in. Oh, that is kind of a weird hitbox there. Um, so why can't I get that close there, but I can't over here? You know, that's kind of silly. Look at that. I like to have neat builds. They don't allow me to do neat builds that way, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Okay, so that's good. Now, let's go in here. And power available 3.05 kilowatt per hour. We have a total of 8.4 we're producing. And these are the items that are drawing our, on our power. So that's good. And we unlocked this oxygen tank here with a terraform index of, uh, well, it, you know what? It doesn't tell you. I wish it kept it on there as to what uh, when it unlocked. We know here it was 1,000. So here we, you know, we don't know what that was. Uh, we'd have to look back. Now, here is our backpack T2. Iron, that's all we need. Do we have a piece of iron? Let's go check. And we do. So let's go ahead and get that T2 uh, backpack. And we have everything. Now, you got to be careful. If you take your backpack off, you lose all your slots. And things will spill out on the ground. And we don't want that. Let's get rid of the... Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we'll get rid of these two. Aluminium we don't need. And let's see. Can we do it now? Oh, we need that titanium. Yeah, I thought I was going too far there. All right. Let's pull our backpack off and see how it decreased the size. And now we got our new T2 backpack. Put that baby on. Ooh, we have windows now. Cool. All right. Windows are really nice to have. It's iron and cobalt. Uh, let's see here. Can we do a, a window? There's cobalt. There's iron. You know, it would be nice to have a window right here so we can look out and see what's going on. Look, we can see our little pressure guy there. I like windows a lot. They're nice. Okay. Very good. And now... Oh, and one thing in terraforming school I learned before, you know, while I was in, in prison for my theft of the sweet roll, they were teaching me about all these things. And I remembered, I checked my notes. I did write some notes. All of these indexes here, oxygen, heat, pressure, they add up to 577, 8, 9, all that. So 147, 175, and 261 are added together. And there's other indexes we're going to have that will add to that terraformation index overall. It doesn't matter. So you can do a ton of oxygen and no heat, no pre Well, eventually you can have just only oxygen running. You don't need to add any more heat or pressure. Just focus on oxygen. 
Because after we unlock all of these items here, it, it's over, right? It goes all, look at all these things we can unlock. 175 Giga Ti. Once we hit that, we don't have to worry about terraforming anymore. We're done. We beat the current version of the game, which is down here, 7.0. Uh, I don't know how they're running. I don't know how Sentinel Corp is running, you know, eh, Miji games or Miju games. I think it is. Uh, I don't know how they're, I don't know if it's 7, 8, 9, and 1.0, and then they'll do maintenance and maybe some other stuff. Uh, how, they do have a roadmap, I think, but uh, some things are secret, you know. All right, let's take a look at this thing here one more time. Now, what I would like to get is a blueprint that will allow us to, oops, have more uh, gear. We have to explore for that. Oh, and we need a water. Let's go ahead and find that water that I put in here. Oh, I don't have a water. Uh-oh. All right, let's get some ice. We need a water on us at all times, especially in this stage of the game. And let's eat that food. Good. Okay, now we have... Oh, I have an ice on me. Oh, well, I can make another one, I guess. That's only one ice. Okay, good. All right, whoops. And we'll toss that water in there. Food, water, oxygen at all times. All right, so let's take a look. Now that we have our Terraform Index going up, uh, we need to unlock... The, well, the screen progress would be nice to have. We have a long way to go. We need more heaters in order to ex make that faster, obviously. Our oxygen indoor ladder, 100 PPT. That's pretty big. Oxygen is um, something that is really tough to do. But once you get higher tech, it gets easier. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine there. Uh, let's go all the way in here, all the way to the beginning. Here we go. Solar panels. That'll help us out a lot. That is coming up. Okay. And we need 175. Oh, that's 175,000 T. Oh, wait. It said, uh, I thought it said 175 point zero zero zero. It's actually 175,000 T. Okay, because yeah, we need blue skies. All right, now um, let's go. Okay, I think we'll be safe to. I'm gonna get some more. You know what? We got that food and that case over here. So let's go and get those. And I'll show you what we. We got a blue case there. We have a blue case over here. I want to empty those out and then clear out the pod of all the material. There we go. Got all of that. There we go. Got all of that. So now we no longer need this pod. And we can decon that case and get iron out of it, which is awesome. So we'll transfer. We'll use that iron for uh, the case in our new home. And we always have this uh, pod for oxygen, which is great. Let's go over here now and get this case that I spotted, if I can find it. There it is. Oh, good. Food and air. Nice. And we'll take the case and get rid of that. So we'll repurpose that case in our own little spot. We will get better storage eventually. For now, we're going to have to deal with these smaller quantity uh, compartments. And there is a secret over here somewhere that we'll get, but not right now. All right, we're home. Okay, let's put the iron in there. And just miscellaneous stuff in there. And food, I guess we could put... Ooh, we got iron in there. All right, let's put one food and water, oxygen. Try and keep a little bit organized here. Oh, solar panels! Oh, that's huge. That is huge, folks. Iron, two cobalt, and the silicon. Let's go get that stuff. And there it is. Oh, look, we could put it right here, too. Nice. It, it doesn't clip when the building. <gasps> Veggie tube T2. Holy cow. We are unlocking some crazy stuff. And this one generates 6.5 kilowatt a second. Ooh, that's huge. Yeah, that's really big. All right, that's going to help us out a lot. All right, Veggie tube T2 now is. it Let's see now. Okay, it's more oxygen. Two ice, iron, magnesium, silicon. All 
All right, let's get this guy here. We'll get our seed, and we're going to recover all of our items. Now, you got to be careful because you could decon the compartment, but it shouldn't with an item in it. And the reason we want the T2 is it's got... Uh, this one is oxygen 0.15. This is 0.12, so it's a much bigger oxygen generator. However, it does generate or consume more power. And we see how we got our ice, magnesium, and iron back. So now we've got a bigger X, uh, veggie tube. Cool. All right. So we'll go ahead and put this stuff back in here. I'm going to put the ice in here. Uh, that way it's kind of like food, quote-unquote, items. Iron gets its own case, miscellaneous. There we go. Okay. I think we made a lot of good progress here. Uh, 1.2 KTI. Right. Oh, what's this? Hydration. Oh, yeah, let's go over here. Let's grab this one. There we go. Yeah, we're fine. Eh, I'm going to wait on the food. All right, let's take a look at our progress indicator here. So we need 2.5 KTI for the next unlock. That's We're halfway there. Backpack T3 will be very helpful when we get to exploration, which is going to be in our next session here. Um, oxygen, indoor ladder, not really a big deal, but, you know, we need we need to get all these things unlocked anyway. One PPT, that's going to take a bit uh, as well. Now, ox uh, we need to explore in order to find items that will help us with oxygen. Uh, that's the only way. And then our next unlock is two nano calvins. That's pretty far off, and that's one of our little indicators up here. And then our next unlock is uh, pressure, 1.2 micro pack scale. That's really huge. Drill T2, which is more pressure. So we did some good unlocks, and I think we've got everything squared away. We got the backpack T2, oxygen T2. Yep, we got those. We have, oh, we have a mining speed. Oh, we have the exoskeleton. Titanium, silicon, magnesium. Oh, we have that. I didn't see that. That is awesome. Okay, silicon. All right. And there it is. All right. Now, what you have to, you have to be careful with this too. You have to pull out your stuff. And, oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pull that out. We'll make the exoskeleton T1. And then we'll put it on, and now we have four slots. Bam. 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 There we go. And now, we, yeah, we have three additional slots now. So we can make a torch, and we can make a mining speed, and uh, I think, what else can we do? I think that's it. Yeah, microchip, mining speed. We'll do that one next step, next time, and a torch. And then we can go exploring these wrecks that we found that we found there, because we're gonna need blueprints and uh, other stuff. They they have uh, oh look at that it grew cool. We'll be able to do more veggie tubes because sometimes we'll get the seeds from the wrecks, which is right out there. That's one of the wrecks we'll explore. There's another big one up this way, way up there we can explore. So we'll have to hit those, and I think we'll put exploration ahead of a. We'll let the TI index go, and then we'll explore. Awesome. All right. I'm going to get some sleep, so I'll see you all in the next session of the Planet Crafter. Peace out.